Today we're making this boho inspired macrame Christmas ornament. Hi friends! For this project you're going to need single strand cotton rope and you're going to need butcher's twine and don't worry I'll leave links in the description box for you. You're also going to need some really sharp scissors and you're going to need a brush or comb to brush out the fringe a large wooden bead and a little dab of hot glue okay let's get started grab one of your 15 inch strands of cord and fold it in half and tie an overhand knot right at the end pull this knot really taut because this is going to be the hanger of our tassel Set that aside and grab your 6 inch strand of butcher's twine and lie it vertically on your board. Grab 5 of your 15 inch strand of cotton rope and place it right in the center horizontally. Next grab your hanger and you want the knot to be right on the left hand side of your butcher's twine. Grab the last 5 strands of 15 inch cord and place it right on top. Grab either ends of your butcher's twine and tie a really taut double knot. Once secure, snip off the excess length of your butcher's twine. Next, hold it vertically and find that loop end of your hanger and try to spread all your cords evenly around your hanger. Once you have it all straightened out, set it aside and grab your long 30 inch strand of butcher's twine. At one of the ends, I like to tie an overhand knot. This gives us leverage when we pull our cord later on. Now with that knot end, you want to make a small loop. Place that loop over top of your tassel with the loop end pointing downwards. And you want to make sure that the short tail end is the end that has the knot and it's pointing up at the top. Next, grab your long tail end and you want to start wrapping it around your tassel. This cord is going to be wrapped around several times around your tassel and around the loop end and you want to work your way all the way down towards the bottom of your loop. Once you get to the bottom, find your loop end and what you want to do is you want to take your long tail end and thread that through the loop. Now this is where that overhand knot comes in handy. You're going to use that knot and pull on it so that your join end is right in the very center of your wrap. Don't pull it too hard, you don't want it to come out the top. You want that center right in the very middle of your wrap. Next, snip off the tail ends of your butcher's twine. Now, if your tassel has a few lumps and bumps at the top, just pull on the ends and it'll start straightening itself out. Once you have the top portion looking nice, Brush out your fringe and give it a bit of a trim. Once you have it all brushed out and it is super fluffy, grab the end of it and give it a nice sharp blunt trim right across the bottom. Trim just a little bit at a time because once you snip it off you can't go back. Alrighty, next grab your wooden bead 
and thread it right through the top of your hanger. Now what I like to do to make sure that the wooden bead is secure is add just a dab of hot glue right at the base. Then just slide the wooden bead down and hold it for a couple of moments. Now if you enjoyed this boho inspired macrame Christmas ornament, I think you'll also like yesterday's tutorial of a Christmas tree garland. Click the link to that video on the screen now and I'll see you over there.